Okay, video number 29. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. I want to start moving through these last handful of videos pretty rapidly. Uh, in the 14th Amendment, blacks were freed from slavery and only given civil rights. We've already gone over that. To this day, this has never changed, and the basic this basic point is truly systemic racism. We've already gone over that. The people screaming about systemic racism know about this, and but they divert your attention elsewhere rather than explain it to you. This is your... Um, Maxine Waters and your um your uh what's that what's that one chick she's the uh that white chick Elizabeth Warren or some shit anyways a lot of these California congress people and state and and senator people that are screaming about systemic racism and all this they they are probably state nationals uh and they they know exactly what I'm talking about here and they do not want you to know about it okay um, the people screaming about systemic racism know this point. They divert your attention elsewhere rather than explain it to you. Uh, the reason being is because the trust management organization makes money delivering services to us. They can only bill the American people for services rendered. Uh, this is exactly why they're bringing in uh, uh, all of the illegal aliens and why they're inviting all the illegal aliens into the country, uh, the the Democrat Party that's in that's in the office right now. This is why they do that because because all of those illegal aliens can now be serviced, and they can now sell services to those people, and then that increases their income through the trust management organization. Okay, again, United States is a for profit, private, incorporated company, so their entire purpose is maximum. Profits to shareholders. So if they can invite in and start busting in illegal aliens in order to service so that they can bill and bill and bill and make more money, that is that is literally just an income uh, strategy proposition to them. Okay. Uh, blacks have been subverted into the, to be the greatest asset to the 14th Amendment trust management organization machine. The people screaming the loudest for BLM, Black Lives Matter, which is a, obviously like a Marxist... Um, totally insane group. Uh, they're the same ones behind this entire scam. They want all blacks to be fully reliant on the government as then they are all needing the services of the federal government, right? The exact steps for blacks to regain their human rights is for them all to become state nationals. They have more to gain from this process than any other race. It's the most glorious way to give the slave masters who are very much still alive and busy a big, fat, juicy middle finger, right? Uh, true racism is the secret degradation of an entire race and not assisting them in achieving their full rights because you are busy making money, servicing them with services that further degrade them. Again, it's not a matter of revenge. Uh, revenge. Revenge will destroy your soul. The solution is to regain your rights as a living son or daughter of the Most High. Civil rights are unacceptable as they place you below the level of even a U.S. citizen. I hope this is uh, as disgusting to you as it is to me. So uh, we've already gone over a lot of this. Again, um, just regain your human rights and, and learn to be a benevolent soul and have your trust in, uh, trusty beneficiary relationship. And it doesn't matter what race you are, uh, it, will, it will clean up all of this naturally. Okay, that's it for video number 29. I will see you at video 30.